Hey guys, this is Rick from DFSOnDemand.com, and this is the preview for the RBC Heritage. Okay, before we jump into uh, this week, let's go back and look at the recap for the Masters. On the left-hand side, you're looking at the lineup that I put into the Millionaire Maker on behalf of DFS On Demand. Uh, the lineup did cash despite Chris Kirk's missed cut. Um, you know, did well with Justin Rose. Rory uh, had a nice, you know, T10. Scott Piercy played pretty well. Uh, it was a $30 win, so unfortunately we didn't win the million, so I didn't have that headache of splitting it with everybody, but it would have been a, a great headache to have. Uh, with a $30 win, I am going to enter it in the $33 um, tournament this week for the for the RBC Heritage, and we'll just kind of see if we can win some money there. So uh, if you want to be part of that, make sure you are a pro member on DFSOnDemand.com, and I will post the lineup uh, before the tournament starts. And then on the right-hand side, a couple of you asked um, how I did personally last week. Had a pretty decent week. I had 152 lineups in the $3 birdie on DraftKings, 21% uh, ROI, so a nice little profit. I'll take that every single week. Um, had a couple of lineups that were making a run on Sunday, Matsuyama and Dustin Johnson. Um, if they could have made a few more birdies, I think we would have been in real good shape, uh, but an overall pretty good week, uh, however. And then finally, we did a site-wide free roll um, for a golf apparel box from Short Par 4. That's the name of the company. The uh, Dream Team 2005 won it, so congratulations to him. Um, I'll send you a box of golf gear. So let's talk about this week. The RBC Heritage is a tournament um, basically like no other. There are few tournaments like this on tour this year, and we'll talk about why in a second. But uh, your defending champion is Jim Furyk. This tournament is being held in Hilton Head, South Carolina at Harbortown. Uh, a relatively short course and a very narrow course. Um, 265 yards was the average drive last season. That was the shortest on tour. This is just not the type of course that you can pull out a driver and bang around around the yard. Um, actually, there's some theories out there that being a long hitter is actually a disadvantage here. Uh, it has the smallest greens on tour. They're the second hardest to hit. So being accurate with your irons, with your approach shots, uh, hitting greens in regulation is going to be a huge advantage this week. And then finally, uh, it's, it's basically an average field. There's only one top 10 player, according to the World Golf Rankings, um, in the field, and that is Jason Day. So it's not a star-studded lineup, but it's right about average. So I've got three guys for you this week, and we'll start with Paul Casey uh, at 10,800. Uh, but he is just scorching hot right now. He has three straight top 10s, a great showing at the Masters last week. He's played this course uh, three times, or this tournament three times, I should say, and has never missed the cut inside the top 22 on all three occasions. And this guy is just deadly accurate, 71.8% uh, greens in regulation. That's the second best on the entire slate. Uh, Paul Casey is a guy who's playing, you know, Excellent golf right now. I think he's pretty fairly priced at 10800 Jason Day, much more expensive. Um, so I think Paul Casey will be highly owned, but I, I think for good reason. He's in prime position this week. Okay, next up is Matt Fitzpatrick, a guy who, um, if you don't follow the tour regularly, you might not know who he is. Uh, he looks like he's 16 years old, but he's a really solid golfer. Uh, he is $9,500. I think he got a $3,000 price increase from last week uh, because he, he backdoored his way into a T7 at the Masters. He shot a 67 on Sunday. I think he rattled off like five straight birdies. The guy was unbelievable coming down the stretch. Um, so he's playing really well right now, but what I love about Matt Fitzpatrick is that he has one big weak weakness and that's, he doesn't hit the ball very far. In fact, he drives the ball only 284 yards off the tee. It's one of the worst on the slate. However, this week, that's not going to matter. That's going to make him an average golfer this week. It, it's, it's really going to cover up his, his weaknesses. And you know what, what he makes up 
what he lacks in distance, he makes up in accuracy. He has a 73.8% green in regulation percentage. That is the best in the field. Um, so this is, you know, th this course is certainly going to be leveling the playing field for guys who do not hit the ball very far. And Matt Fitzpatrick is uh, probably the top beneficiary. And finally, a really nice value play in Jerry Kelly, who checks in at only $6,800. Again, another guy who is extremely accurate, hitting over 70% of his fairways in the last year. He is the best scrambler on the slate. So like we talked about, these greens are very small. Um, it's going to be advantageous to hit the green. But if you don't, you're going to have to be able to get up and down. And Jerry Kelly does that. He's the best scrambler in the entire field. Uh, he's only missed the cut once this season. And he's a real coarse horse. Uh, he's played here 18 times. He's made the cut 12 times. He's finished in the top 31 the last three years. You can see including a, a, a fifth place finish. And what I really like about him is, is uh, his skill set really translates well here. So I'm looking back at the Sony Open as another comparable tournament. The Sony Open is another course uh, with narrow fairways, small greens. Jerry Kelly finished uh, a T9 this year. So he, you know, he plays well. So if you're looking for other course history, if you want to see a, a larger sample size, uh, the Sony Open and Y Lai Country Club is, is pretty comparable as far as what you're looking for for this week. All right, that's it. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. So if you enjoy watching them, just do me a favor and click that thumbs up button below. Um, let's me know that you want me to keep making them and I'll keep pumping them out every week. All right, thanks guys. Good luck.